Celestial Blessings, my name is Helen Demetriou and today I want to talk about manifestation but collective manifestation. So a few years ago I wrote an article called the I Am Movement Project Manifest and in it I say every invention in our world was first a thought. Poems, music, novels, they all first began as a thought in someone's head and then it materialized onto paper. So just from this knowledge alone, you're brought to the realization that all things first begin as thoughts and then they're brought into the physical world by people just like you and me. So now you can understand this, does it not make sense to you that if we all dream a dream that is the same, such as dreaming for a more peaceful world, that together we can make it happen? Remember that all physical things first began as a thought. If we each hold this thought and believe it can happen with all our hearts, then it is inevitable that we can make it a reality for everyone. So I began delving deeper into the manifestation practice and I began driving long distances and I wanted to listen to something that would make the journey more enjoyable. So I thought, okay, let's listen to the greats such as Wayne Dyer and Louise Hay. So I began listening and they helped me to remember all the things that I knew but had forgotten. But at that time I felt a huge shift taking place within me and all the pieces of the puzzle fell into place. And I was hit by one revelation after another. So for the longest time, I was feeling that I wanted to make a big difference. I love doing what I do. I love being a healer. I love being a metaphysical teacher. But, you know, I felt like I should be doing more. And I wanted to make a big difference. But I didn't have any idea where to start. You see, I'm the kind of person that wants to get right to the root and to focus on the root rather than the symptom and understood that the only way to change this world is by bringing awareness but how can I share awareness when not everyone is on the same level of understanding how can I teach people in simple terms that would help anyone whatever the level of enlightenment how easy it is to bring a thought into the material world so I was pondering this during another journey and suddenly the song Imagine started playing in my head and I understood that this was a message from my guides and I heard the same verse over and over again that says you may say I'm a dreamer but I'm not the only one I hope someday you'll join us and the world will be as one that was it we are all dreamers and we can bring these dreams into reality we can bring them from the invisible into the visible. So together we can manifest the world that we want to live in. And though many of us have had this dream, it truly struck home that this can work. That all of this, all of this had to do with sharing it with others. And that's how simple it is to make this dream come true. It really is that simple. I suddenly saw the universe moving together as all factors shifted into alignment and the title of the article I wrote in this video is the I am movement we just have to imagine the world that we wanted and the world we wanted would happen but then I remembered that there are people who lack the courage to have faith in their own ability to manifest and it was then that I heard Wayne Dyer speak about how we need to understand who we are in order to manifest and by doing this we have to understand where the power of manifestation comes from. He mentioned verses in the Bible which I'd already understood to mean what he explained them to mean but again boom it truly became real for me and this would be a tool that I could use to explain to others how anything they put their minds to can be brought forward into our world. So for so many years I've used the ancient text to express to people that all of us, every single human being is a God, for we are God. God is us and we are God. I'm not speaking about a false God that's used by religious teachers who give their God an ego and human attributes. I'm speaking about the God, the creator, the one that we're all connected to and which connects everything in the universe to each other. I'm speaking about the true God that is love. 
So the texts that I will use for you in this article are taken both from the Old Testament and from the New Testament and I'll emphasize the words so you may understand them clearly. So the thing is I also wanted to talk about that I know I understand that I have pagan listeners I'm just trying to show you a tool using certain words that make sense that um, speak about manifestation so if you're not interested in hearing about some passages from the Bible it's better that you switch off now but it's, you're free to listen but I just don't want you to get upset and feel that this was a waste of your time so the first story I want to talk about is Moses and the burning bush now backstory Moses was tending the flock of Jethro, his father-in-law, the priest of Midian, and he led the flock to the far side of the wilderness and came to Horeb, the mountain of God. There the angel of the Lord appeared to him in flames of fire from within a bush. Moses saw that the bush was on fire and it didn't burn up, so Moses thought, I will go over and see this strange sight, why the bush does not burn up. When the Lord saw that he had gone over to look, God called to him from the bush, Moses, Moses, and Moses says, Here I am. Do not come any closer, God said. Take off your sandals, for the place where you are standing is holy ground. Then he said, I am the God of your father, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. At this, Moses hid his face because he was afraid to look at God. The Lord said, I have seen the misery of my people in Egypt. I have heard them crying out because of their slave drivers, and I am concerned about their suffering. So I have come down to rescue them from the hand of the Egyptians and to bring them out of the land into a good and spacious land. So then he goes on to say, So now, go. I am sending you to Pharaoh to bring my people, the Israelites, out of Egypt. But Moses says to God, Who am I that I should go to Pharaoh and bring the Israelites out of Egypt? And God said, I will be with you, and I will bring you a sign that it is I who have sent you. So then he goes on to say, Moses says to him, Suppose I go to the Israelites and say to them, The God of your fathers have sent me to you. And they ask me, What is his name? What shall I tell them? And God said to Moses, I am who I am. This is what you say to the Israelites. I am has sent you. So here we can see that Moses identifies himself as the I am by calling himself I am. In all languages we use the term I am in many things such as I am hungry, I am cold, I am happy. But know that whenever you're using the title I am we are aligning ourselves with God. And should we say, I am tired, then we are declaring that God is also tired, for we are God and God is us. How was it that God brought this world into the material? By thought alone. For it's also expressed in the Kubalian where it states that God, or I am, who is the all, is within the all. If the all is within the all, then how could there be anything outside the all which came into our world? If the all had nothing outside of itself to create, then how could the all create? And the answer is through thought. So if we are also the all, then so can we create by thinking it into existence. There's nothing separating ourselves from the all apart from our beliefs. And if we understand and believe that we are also the all, then we have the same abilities. So let us move now to where Jesus is speaking about humans being gods. This is from the passage about the unbelief of the, the Jews. So Jesus was teaching that his, he and the Father are one. And this angered a group of Jews nearby. And it, it basically enraged them. At this the Jews picked up stones to stone him. But Jesus responded, I have shown you many good works from the Father. For which of these do you stone me? We're not stoning you for any good work, said the Jews, but for blasphemy, because you, who are a man, declare yourself to be God. So Jesus replied, Is it not written in your law, I have said you are gods? If he called them gods, to whom the word of God came, and the scripture cannot be broken, 
Then what about the one whom the Father sanctified and sent into the world? How can you accuse me of blasphemy for stating that I am the Son of God? If I'm not doing the works of the Father, then do not believe me. But if I'm doing them, even though you do not believe me, believe the works themselves. And it goes on to carry on about that story. So basically, Jesus was referring to the Psalm 82, verse 6, where God says, I have said, you are gods, you are all sons of the Most High. God had already declared that humans are gods, and the Jews accused Jesus of blasphemy simply for living the words stating in the Old Testament. So we've been told numerous times that we are the I am, we are gods, we are made in the image of I am. And therefore, we have the ability to act like the I am. Remember the beginning of this video where I explained that everything comes into existence first as a thought. Thoughts have been scientifically proven to be made up of energy. And it has also been proven that energy travels. Now, there's not much of a divide between the etheric world and the material world. It does not take much for a thought to cross from the invisible world to the visible world. All it takes is faith, and if you believe it with all your heart and soul, and the universe support your intention of materializing your thoughts. So a few years ago, I was having a down day, and I asked the gods for advice. I said to them, look, many atheists, or those who have shut themselves down from the divine, ask me all the time, where are your gods now, in response to terrible things that happen in the world? And I asked them, I know you are real, but how can I express to others that you exist? And the gods told me, daughter, place your hand on your heart and say, here I am. Their message is not only expressing that they're in our hearts, but my hand is resting on myself. Here I am. I am that I am. I am proof that the divine exists and God, the gods, the I am resides and is expressed in me and in all of humanity. And so I ask each of you, from the presence of the I am in me to the presence of the I am in you to believe and have faith and join me in manifesting a world we came here to create. I know that we can do this if we just believe it, if we believe there are no boundaries between ourselves and I am. All my love is with you. Please share this video wherever you can to spread the word and to make this dream come true. Just imagine that is enough. I love you. Bye bye.